Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's tutorial is going to be on this look that I'm wearing right now. And this has kind of been like my go-to pregnancy makeup look. During the beginning of my pregnancy, I really didn't wear much makeup because I wasn't going anywhere, number one. And number two, I felt like crap and didn't want to do anything. So since I got into my second trimester, I've been feeling a lot better. We've actually been going out and like doing things. And this has just been the look that I've been wearing. I just really like this look because it's one of those looks that no matter what, I always feel good in it. No matter if I'm having an icky day or a good day or what's going on, I put this makeup look on and I just feel like, okay, I feel like myself. I feel good. I feel better. You know what I mean? Like it's just like a little bit of a confidence boost, this little makeup look that I've been doing. It's kind of like that natural but still really glam glam you know what i'm saying i also go very in depth in this video about the products that i've been navigating towards and i've been using and why i've been navigating and using those products so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look and all the products that i used then just go ahead and keep on watching okay so let's just tuck our e our ears let's tuck our hair behind our ears before we get started so what i've been actually doing is i've been starting with this ole henriksen c brush brightening gel cream this has kind of become like my moisturizer that i like to use before i do my makeup i would use it here and there before i was pregnant but ever since i got pregnant i've really been navigating towards this and kind of noticed it making a big difference with my skin um, i don't know if it's because i'm pregnant or if it's because it's summer i don't really know what it is but Vitamin C basically is super, super, super brightening. It's really good for discoloration. And a lot of people tend to get that when they're pregnant. Pregnant. Thankfully, I really haven't gotten any discoloration on my skin. But I have noticed that my skin has its days. It looks like a little bit dull. It could use a little more brightness. This could be just because it's summer. I'm getting more sun. It could be because of the pregnancy. I'm not sure. But I have found that this as a base for makeup is working really nicely. And then I also use the Ole Henriksen Banana Eye Bright Cream. These two are actually the little travel ones. I have purchased the mini ones so that I could test them out and see if I liked them. So I haven't purchased the full size yet and now I'm living on vacation. So these are perfect for traveling. But when I get back, I will go purchase the full size because I've been using this quite a bit. Then I always use a little bit of my Laneige lip treatment. This is what I do whether I'm pregnant or not pregnant. doesn't matter. I always put this on at night. And normally before I do my makeup, I throw a little bit of it on too so I can kind of like sit while I do the rest of my makeup to get my lips nice and moisturized. So I don't always do this step. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends. If I feel like my skin is a little bit dry or I haven't done, it's been a few hours since I did my skincare routine, I will use my Pixi Glow Mist and spritz that over my face. But if I feel like my skin is feeling nice and hydrated and moisturized, I'll skip this step. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit on right now. It would be good if I sprayed it on my face and not that way. So since I got preggers, I my makeup routine has kind of changed. In my first trimester, I didn't really wear much makeup, honestly. I just really wasn't feeling good. I really wasn't going anywhere. I would just do like a little bit of concealer and highlight if I did need to throw on a little bit of makeup or felt like I looked really horrible. But since my second trimester that I've been feeling better, I have been wearing a little more makeup. So I've predominantly been alternating between two foundations. I've been alternating between the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. These two have been my go-tos. So the Beauty Blender Foundation is kind of like a satin finish. It's not an ultra matte, but it's not glowy at all. It's kind of in the middle. And I would say it's like a medium coverage, but you can build it up a little bit more than a medium coverage. I would not say it's full coverage at all, but it's like a steady medium coverage. And then the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere, I would consider this a light coverage that you can build up to a medium coverage if you use a little bit more of it. But this does have like a little bit of a dew to it. It has a little bit of a glow, but nothing like on our Monty Luminous Silk or L'Oreal Pro Glow. It's more of a natural glow. You know what I'm saying? So it almost gives you like that pregnancy glow, like that glow from within type situation. So I've really been loving this. So it just depends what I'm doing. If I know that I'm gonna be out like all night and I want a little bit more coverage and I wanna look a little more flawless, I go with the Beauty Blender Foundation. But if I just wanna feel good and confident and natural and have my skin just look like, wow, it just looks like your skin but better, 
I go with the Laura Mer Mercier one. So I've already worn this foundation on camera in the last, in my last couple of videos. It's the foundation that I've been wearing, so you guys have seen this on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation in this video so let me just shake it up i honestly really haven't even been using primer to be a hundred percent honest i've been like kind of lazy <laughs> with that and i do the most minimal steps like the least amount of steps that i possibly can so since my skin is already a little tacky from the spray and from the moisturizer i feel like that's enough and it's all good so i'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of this foundation on my Sonia Kashuk sponge. You guys always ask for this sponge. It's from, it's from Sonia Kashuk from Target. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce this into my skin. Let me take off these earrings. So as you can see on this side of my face, it just looks really like even and natural. It has like a nice little bit of a soft glow to it, but it's not super full coverage. Like I still have a little tiny blemish right here that you can kind of see through the foundation, but that doesn't really bother me because I'll go in with concealer and a cream contour now, and that will kind of further give me more coverage. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, but this foundation just like smells so good. It's like the weirdest thing ever. For concealer, my routine really hasn't changed. I'm still using Tarte Shape Tape mixed with Maybelline Fit Me. You guys have seen me do this a gajillion times, so I'm gonna do this very quickly. We're just gonna fast forward through this. So once the concealer is all nice and blended out, I just buff out any creasing that could have already happened under my eyes. And using my Fenty powder in the shade Butter, I just pick up some of that on this little brush and I just press it in right under my eyes with the brush. I really like this powder because it's really brightening, but when I apply this with a sponge, it's a little too dry for my personal skin so i found that if i just apply it with a brush it actually does a really good job of not creasing since my under eyes are already kind of dry um i don't need to like press it in with the sponge since this powder is also dry so then i'll just buff out any creases on my eyelids and i'll also set down my eyelids with this same powder I've just kind of been like doing stuff that's a little bit faster and that I don't have to be so precise with. <laughs> I know that's um, kind of lazy of me, but that's just where I'm at in life right now. As you can see, I just put it right under my eyes and I put a tiny little bit on the sides of my nose and my eyelids and that is it. I don't put this powder anywhere else. I like my skin to be as dewy as possible. So I try to leave as much cream product on my face as I possibly can. So. Since I've been doing such simple eye makeup lately, I've just been doing my face first. We're gonna go ahead and finish up with the skin. I have just been like super in love with my Maybelline Superstay foundation stick lately. I just think it's so good. The Superstay foundation is like a full coverage foundation. So since I'm wearing like this nice light coverage foundation, combining it with like a more full coverage contour and like a more full coverage concealer kind of gives you more coverage it doesn't kind of give you more coverage it does give you more coverage so that's what i've been liking to do lately using something a little more lightweight over my whole face to not make my skin look thick or heavy and just kind of like make it look nice and even and then adding my coverage with my contour and with my concealer instead of using a full coverage foundation as you can see a little bit goes a long way so be careful like look at how little i put and it really does go a long way and it's very pigmented and it's very full coverage, so keep that in mind. But it does blend really easy. And I've just been liking this better than a regular contour stick lately. I use the shade 360 Mocha, and as you can see, it's like very warm. It gives you kind of like a tan. It's not so much of like a contour, it's more of like a bronze. And I've just been a little bit more into that lately. I just think it looks a little more effortless. It looks a little bit more summery. It just, I don't know, it's just the vibe I've been going for lately. It's not that like really done up, full glam. It's more of like that effortless, I didn't try so hard, I just kind of like woke up like this glam, yeah. which I'm all about. And ever since I got pregnant, I'm even more about it. I just think that when you're pregnant, whether you feel it or not, like 
I've seen so many pregnant women that I'm like, wow, you're so beautiful. Like, I know that's such a weird thing to say, but it's just such a beautiful and like amazing time in your life. And instead of trying to hide it under pounds of makeup, I just think you should just like embrace it and just, you know, still wear makeup and have fun, but don't get so caught up and oh my God, I look so different and I feel so different and this and that. Just embrace the moment that you're in and embrace the experience you're having and just kind of roll with it. And instead of fighting it, just accept it, you know? And I feel like that has been like the model of my life since I got pregnant, but it's also really um, kind of transferred over into my makeup and beauty routine too. I just feel so much more comfortable with like a little bit of less makeup and just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a different feeling, guys. Sorry to get all mushy and gushy on you. But just know that if you are pregnant and you're not feeling like yourself and you're not feeling 100% and you're just feeling kind of weird because it happens to all of us, it's inevitable. Just know that you are beautiful and your body is doing the most amazing thing that a human body can possibly do. It's literally creating another human being. And to not be so hard on yourself. Just take a deep breath. Put in a little contour, a little lightweight foundation, and I'm gonna show you a really nice highlight product next. It's gonna make you feel really good about yourself regardless of how crappy you feel. <laughs> I promise it's all gonna be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with some more cream products. So the next product that I'm gonna be using is one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I've, talk I've talked about it in other videos, but I really wanted to go a little more in depth about it today. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I use it in shade number four, medium. So this is basically, I didn't really understand what this was until I got it and used it myself, but this is basically like foundation and liquid illuminator mixed together. So what it does is it kind of gives you more coverage, but it's super, super, super glowy and amazing. And it just makes it look like your skin is like the most amazing thing in this entire world. So it comes with this really awesome Dofa applicator. I just apply some right here on my cheek, right here on my temple, and some on my forehead just like that and you can already see the dewiness but you see how it has a like foundation in it like it's not sheer it's not golden it's kind of like it looks like foundation like it's beige you know it's like my skin color so i do that i put some down the bridge of my nose cupid's bow and some on the chin so basically all the high points of my face and then i'll take my sponge and just blend it in i'll just buff it into the skin and look at that glow that it gives your freaking face like it just makes your face look so juicy and like dewy and healthy and like plump and just everything you want your skin to be this makes it happen i actually take this all the way across my forehead because i'll dab a little bit of like translucent powder in the center of my forehead when i'm done but i like to have that nice little glow underneath so i get that like all over glowy effect on my face but as you can see, it blends out super easy. It blends right into the skin so easily. And like, I mean, guys, look at that. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And like I said, it gives you a little bit more coverage on top of the fact that it's making your skin look really dewy. I love this stuff. Even for like an everyday, like just quick little concealer. When I do my just my concealer and highlight look, this is what I use. I kind of put this on the high points of my face, spot conceal, throw on a little lip gloss, brush my brows and call it a day and it looks so nice. It just makes your skin look so healthy and beautiful. Okay, so my camera died, so I went ahead and just very quickly did my eyebrows off camera while my camera was charging for a little bit. So I used the same thing I've been using, my eyebrow routine hasn't changed. I alternate between two powders every time I do my makeup. I either use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Golden or my Charlotte Tilbury Powder. I don't use much powder when I do my makeup like this. I kinda just very lightly dust over so I can add a little bit of powder product on top, but I like to keep the powder very minimal. So I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, which as you can tell, is very loved and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this kind of along the bottom part of my face and on top of where I put the contour just so it's easier to blend a little bit of powder on top of it and I'm just gonna go very lightly around the perimeter of my face up here because like I said I'm gonna put some powder bronzer 
so I want it to all blend nicely, but I don't want to mattify my skin too much. I like this powder a lot because it's very lightweight and it's very like satiny. It's not super, super, super matte. It kind of has like a nice like soft sheen to it. So it never makes your skin look really matte or really dry. So another thing that I've absolutely been loving since I got pregnant is because it's so easy. It's kind of like a one and done type situation it has everything you kind of need in it almost. It's this NARS palette and this is the Atomic Blonde palette. So as you can see, it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, and four eyeshadows. The highlight is freaking amazing. It's in the shade Last Call. I'm not sure if you can get this in its own pan, but it's so beautiful. And then the bronzer is in the shade Unleashed. So I've been using this bronzer. I just take some on a fluffy brush and kind of dust it. You see the difference from this side to like over here. It just gives it a little bit more warmth and a little bit more depth. And then I'll put some around the perimeter of my face, right up here on my forehead. And you see how nice it just makes your skin look? It just makes your skin look like you were just, like, just at the beach. Just like nice and bronze and brown, I love it. So now that I've got that on, what I'll do next is I've kind of been alternating between two highlights also. I either use the highlight from this palette or I have my little Laura Geller palette that I always have on me, which has three shades in it. It has Molten Gold, Gilded Honey, and French Fizz in it. Obviously, Gilded Honey is the one that I use the most often, <laughs> but I like having options with me. Since you guys have seen me wear Gilded Honey so many times in the past, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one from the NARS palette so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I already have this nice glow happening because of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter that I use. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this right on top. And you see how golden it is? Oh my god. It's just, like this side is like a natural glow. But then we add this, it gives you like a little bit more of like that. Mm. That. Mm. And I love putting it on my temple to give that nice glow here. And the nose. But this is like such a beautiful highlight. I love it. And the formula is incredible. It doesn't enhance any texture on your face. It just gives you like this really beautiful glow. So I'm kind of going to cheat because I kind of messed up just now. Sorry, guys. But it's fine. I've done this before. Normally, before, <laughs> normally, before I apply my powder bronzer and my powder highlight, I go in with a liquid blush. But I really want to use this on camera. I want you guys to see it. I already applied my powder bronzer and my powder highlight, as you guys saw. And you should not do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. But whatever. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Torrid. So I just put one pump on my hand like this. And then I take this brush. This one's from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, little collaboration they did. And I literally, like blend this in all over my hand so I have a nice even distribution on the brush and then I smile a little bit and just start pressing this in you like I was saying you really should do this before you apply all your powders but honestly it goes on fine I've forgotten a couple times before and done this after I've done my powders and it's fine it's not that big of a deal it does go on a little bit better and it looks a little bit dewier when you do it before you apply powder but you know we're just rolling with the punches here. So as you can see, it's very pigmented, which is why I'm using a super light hand. I'm kind of like very lightly fluffing it and pressing it into the skin. And again, because it is a liquid blush, it just makes your skin look that much more dewy. It, does, it doesn't have glow in it, I wouldn't say, but just because it's a liquid product, it's more dewy than a powder blush would be, you know? So now that I've got a good amount there, I'll just pick up my sponge and start going over it. And you see how much more blended and nice this side looks than this side? Just from going over it with the sponge makes a big difference. Okay guys, so I already did one eye off camera for the most part, and now we're gonna do the other eye here so I can show you guys. If you hear talking in the background or laughing, my I'm actually leaving out of town for two weeks tomorrow. So my sister just got here, my sister's best friend, which is also one of my like best friends is here, her little cousin's here, so. They're out there having wine, which I can't have, and drinking while I finish filming my video. So if you hear giggling, it's just them. So I actually wore this makeup look the other day on Instagram store, and I've worn this makeup look a couple times, and you guys have all asked me, like, oh my god, I love your makeup, it's so beautiful, and everyone messages me saying how pretty it is. And it's like the easiest, most simple thing 
ever. <laughs> I've actually been using this Studio Makeup On The Go palette. This came in a box charm a few years ago and it's like, I forgot how much I love this palette, but it's just like a neutral dream. It's so good. I love this palette so much. And it's just like a one and done situation. Like you can do so many looks with this palette. It's so good. So I'm gonna go into this nice creamy vanilla shade right here. And I'm just going to put this right under my brow bone. You guys know I love a palette that comes with a creamy brow bone shade that just like for me is a massive like bonus. Like hell yeah, winning. So I've got my brow bone nice and highlighted. And I do this look very quickly. I go into this shade right here, which is... There's no names. So let's go into this shade right here. It's the cooler of the two shades in the middle. This shade is not really cool, but it's kind of like that nice in between that it's not cool, it's not warm, it's just like very neutral. So I'm just tilting my head back and using a really fluffy brush, I'm just running this through my crease, my upper crease. I'm kind of avoiding my eyelid space and just keeping it in my crease and in the upper crease. And then I kind of like to blend it a little bit into my eyebrow over here too. Yeah, her little cousin's so cute. Don't you love little kid voices? Like, they're so cute. Okay, and I always flick it out a little bit on the outer edge. So once I've got that nice and laid down, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a more dense brush. This is the Morphe M518. I'm gonna pick up the same shade and I'm just gonna pack this in to the outer edge of my eye right here. So now I'm gonna go into this more warm tone shade over here and just pick up just a little bit of this kind of medium tone brown shade and mix the two together. I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm just gonna run this in my crease. Again, I'm keeping this kind of like directly in my crease. I'm not taking it as high as I did with the first shade, but I am using this to add a little more dimension and just structure to the eye. You see how it's like so nice and soft and like just like bronzy and effortless? So now taking a little bit of a flat brush, I'm gonna go into this really nice dark chocolatey brown color. And I'm just gonna kind of like line my eye almost like if I'm doing an eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go straight across. You guys, I do this really fast. Like I've gotten so used to doing this look, I do it so quick. So now that I've got my eye like lined across, what I'll do is I'll pick up a little bit more on this brush and on the outer edge, oh, I just tap my eye a little bit. I'll just kind of start smudging it a little bit thicker on the outer edge. It's kind of help to open up my eyes a little bit. And then when there's very little product on this little flat brush, I'll kind of like flick it up a little bit to kind of like connect with the rest of my eyeshadow. So I almost kind of get like a winged liner effect. But when you do this with eyeshadow, I just feel like it gives you so much more of like an effortless look. Like it just looks like smoky and simple and like you didn't really try so hard, you know? So even though we have a couple really pretty shimmery shades in this palette that I really love, the shimmers in this palette are really nice. I've just been using this shimmer shade because I love the tone of it. I've been using this shade right here from the NARS palette, the first one, because it's just like this really beautiful golden color. The shadows in this palette, like look at that pigment. <sighs> so I basically am cutting my crease with this eyeshadow because it's so pigmented. And now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with that first shade that we used and a pencil brush. And I'm just going to smoke out my entire lower lash line. And now I'll mix the two other shades I used in the crease together. And I'm gonna further smoke out my lash line. And now using my little flat brush, I will just hit the outer edges of my eyes very close to my lash line. Just like that. I like to keep that really close to my lash line. If I take it in too far, it kind of makes my eyes look close. So I really keep that just on the outer edges. And now I'm just gonna very quickly apply some lashes. So just give me one second. Okay, so for lashes, I just went ahead and threw on my Kiss Number 11s. What's new? This is just like my tried and true, guys. To me, these lashes are just like perfect on my eyes. I don't have really big eyes, so when I wear like really big, heavy lashes, it makes my eyes look smaller. So I just feel like these are the perfect length, they're the perfect thickness to just make my eyes 
open up and look bigger actually and they're just so comfortable like they never bother me they never really lift on the inner corners like they just always look good and feel good so if it ain't if it ain't broke don't fix it type thing this is what i've been doing and to add just a little bit more of a bronzy glow to my eyes i'm obsessed with the beauty for real shadow stick in the shade midnight marathon i've been using this for a few years now <laughs> And um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with this product. Like I said, it's a shadow stick, but I use it as an eyeliner in my inner waterline. And it is like so beautiful. I love it. So I'll just throw that in there. And now let's go ahead and set our face. Um, I'm still using the Milani Make It Last setting spray in conjunction with the Morphe setting spray. These are my two favorites. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So now for lip products, I have like all these nude lip products here that I've kind of been alternating between. These are all my favorites. I think that I'm going to go with my favorite lip liner at the moment. This is probably my favorite one. This is Sandstorm from NYX. It's just like that perfect in between that it's not super cool, but it's not super warm. It's just like very neutral and I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. Okay, so now that my lips are nice and lined, I'm gonna go in with some lipstick. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Nude. So now because this is just like a little bit on the nude side, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Echo Park from ColourPop. And this is an ultra satin lip. So what I do is just dab it on like this. And then I just kind of like press it in kind of get like a little bit more of a pinky tinge but not be like too 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 much bear with me here guys i like I, i've been really into like lip colors lately oh sorry put that on silent. then i do this almost every time i do my lipstick because i just feel like it makes such a difference i love using the shade hot sand from maybelline it's number 530 it's one of their matte lipsticks and i just like to put this right in the center to kind of give a little more dimension and powder to the lips this is just like a super 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 pale pink so it's like the perfect lipstick to do that with and then for gloss i'm going to be using taos this is from cargo cosmetics and i actually got this in a box from a few years ago and it's like one of my favorite glosses it's like super nude and neutral and like juicy and it's just so nice and now that my setting spray is nice and dry i'll just take a little bit of mascara to kind of blend my lashes with the falsies and I never take this all the way through the lashes. I kind of just grab my natural lashes and make sure that they're stuck to the falsies. And then I'll put some on my lower lashes. And then for an inner corner highlight, I'll just go ahead and grab this little palette that I was using before. And I'll pop the lightest shade right in here. So you can see it's super bright and then just put a little right here under the highest point of my brow and that is it guys that's the whole look here you go so as you can see this look is pretty simple it's pretty easy i kind of just wanted to focus on all the products that i've been using lately and just my little technique when i do this makeup look myself i do it in about like 30 to 45 minutes depending on if I'm watching Netflix, if I'm talking, like what I'm doing. But I do this pretty quick and I do it all the time. It's kind of been my go-to ever since I got pregnant and started feeling a little bit better and actually going out and doing things because I just feel like it's so simple. It's so easy. It always looks good. It never plays me. And I feel like it's natural, but it's still glam. So you look like natural and nice but like you tried a little bit you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos then just go ahead and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video bye